stronger than dirt. Discovering our limits for old man. Whew. Train hard, die hard. <laughs> Sam and I are uh, starting our bodybuilding segment of our life. We've been doing mostly power building and power lifting. That's why I've kept my little paunchy here. Till September, we're gonna be bodybuilding, which is torture, which is fun. It should be fun for you guys to watch somebody else torture themselves. Be interesting to see what our bodies look like for old, excuse my language, old men in five months. Uh, we're gonna be having some before and after pictures to post up there. I'd love for you guys to do some of the same. Post some pictures of where you are today and post some more where you are in six months. Be great to see. We'll be doing the same. So hopefully there's gonna be good results for you, no injuries. When I'm training, I like to incorporate both. I like to power lift and then, and then bodybuilding, call it more like power building. And then later, power lift. Uh, Bob, he uh, cares more about looking good than being strong. So I figured I'd help him out and go through a bodybuilding routine with him, seeing how he's such a vain ass. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start bodybuilding. Pound for pound. My wife is very patient, very independent, very smart, energetic, wonderful, funny woman. Lights up a room, she walks in, that smile lights up. You know, I don't care how dark and gloomy anybody is, I see her, they're gonna smile. Okay, is that it right here? Is that all I'm doing? Yeah, she's doing very well. I, mean, I must say she's coping with it. She's just starting to try to get into the gym. She's been into the gym, you know, four or five times, and she's busy all the time, so it's tough for her. I, mean, I would like to see her do it more, but it's got to be something that she wants to do, just like anybody else. Okay. Like a rod. <laughs> Bush Gardens. How many is that? <laughs> I'm Michelle Fontaine, and we are with H. Badley. I don't know that uh, she's comfortable or not. Uh, I think that uh, once she sees it, I'll hear about it one way or the other. <laughs> but always look at the lips. And they. <laughs> Michelle, Bob's wife. A great person. She's a loving person. She loves to have fun. No, you're not making me laugh. You're not making me laugh. Okay, <laughs> And she also does the laundry. There's the laundry. There's the <laughs> and the cooking. We eat a lot of fresh things, which isn't always easy, but you can always incorporate it. I'm the slice and serve kind of mommy. Make all kind of fun things. I like Michelle a lot. She's a good mother. She loves her children. She's just a good person. What can I say? Uh, my daughter, Michaela, did a lot of our exercise videos. She's now running her own little business, waxing boats and cars with a friend of her, so they're pretty busy. My name is Michaela Fontaine. I'm the daughter of Bob Fontaine, the founder of Age Badly. My dad's always been pretty large, pretty buff. Scary, intimidating more so is a better word than scary, I would say. When I first started high school, he had a speech that he would like to tell the boys about how whatever you do to my daughter, I'm going to do to you. And now that he's working out and that he's so jacked, if you will, oh, it's like 
times 10. He's just, he just looks like he could just be me, but he's not. My dad's really the most sweetest, tender-hearted person in the world, like, like a big grizzly bear. That's kind of what he is. Actually, we used to call him the uh, silverback gorilla <laughs> in high school, because we would give animals to everyone. But since I started filming and getting all in his face with the camera and watching him do his deadlifts and squats and all that stuff, the scariest part is having to watch his face turn beet red and watch all the veins bust out and not knowing if he's going to drop it or what or if the plates are going to fall off or anything like that. It can get a little nerve wracking, but I like it. I like him working out and being healthy and having something that he likes to do. Hi, I'm Jimmy. I am the son of Bob. Um, the middle offspring, I guess you could say. Jimmy uh, was coming to the gym and now he's working at our company. He's uh, working at Precision Images and uh, he still wants to work out some more. I guess he's working out at night some more. Very supportive of this. Hanging out with my dad and Sam is incredible. I mean, Sam pushes you every day, no matter what. I mean, through every motion, I'll say, hey, I want to do this. No, don't do that. Do this, it'll be better for you. And so far, I mean, <laughs> I went from being 200 pounds, fat, lazy, beard out, didn't care about anything, to being in shape. <laughs> it actually feels good. And my father, oh man, <laughs> where to start? Uh, let's just say 18 rack a day, probably five years ago, we'd go fishing, cooler full of beer. And you're, you're going, Heck, you know, why are you taking off your shirt? Look at that thing, it's like a baby in there. You know, when's that gonna pass? You know, it wasn't for nine months, it was for years. Years he had this, I mean, he's the same size, it was just boop, little football just kinda hanging out. And if you would've asked me five years ago if he'd look the way he does now, I would've told you you're full of it. I would've said no, never. And now he's tremendous. <laughs> I mean, I would have never thought I would see my father pick up 500 pounds ever, or even bench press 265 ever in my entire life, because he's a businessman first, so I can see how he kind of used that lifestyle to uh, attain the more fun things in life, but now he's having more fun at the gym, he's happier, um, he's not a whiny bitch anymore, that's for sure. When you exercise, it creates endorphins and endorphins make you happy. So I do feel like since Bob's been serious about working out, he's become a happier person on a daily basis, excited about doing other things that he wouldn't normally be interested in messing with. More tolerant, I would think, think also. So he's a really determined person, you know, when he sets goals for himself, he really wants them to happen. He kind of believes it, and if it doesn't happen, it just crushes him. It's sad. So I have an uh, industrial supply business, relatively boring, uh, it's fun. We sell x-ray equipment and x-ray uh, film and supplies for non-destructive testing, things like aircraft and bridges and casting, so. The company pays for everything and everybody eats well, so there you go. Anybody that works here can get a free membership to a gym. Uh, we tried that, uh, nobody went. Boring industrial business, but it makes the uh, paycheck and it helps pay for a, the development of age badly. So it's a, it's a living. And we continue to work that. I have a great crew. I have a great uh, group of people that keep that business alive for me while I invest a lot of time in this. Yeah, we also do engineering. You'll see a couple of the engineers in there that do, uh, we recreate electronic files called Gerber files from the manufacturer of printed circuit boards. And, uh, we're one of the last ones in the U.S. doing that. Most of the printed circuit board business got shipped over to China over the last 10 years. So, Quite a crew, very busy, very good at what they do, very good people, very understanding of this, very excited about the age badly to grow. So, I'm lucky. I can make it pretty big. See that? Age badly, heavy lead lifter. Ah, c'est plus clair quand tu viens avant. Je sais pas si tu peux te dire. Wake up. 
Every now and then, though, she tries to kick Bob in the ass, which uh, I think he needs that sometimes. I don't know if it'll be the first episode, but we'll see. We'll see how long it's going to be. All she right. was very relaxed, talking about age battery. What are you Okay. So, you know, okay. It's an hour show. Oh. Per episode.